How about we play a little catch up after the holiday weekend? Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Tuesday, September 7th. Happy Rosh Hashanah 2021. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know wherever you are and whatever you are doing. It's been a long time since we've talked. Can we just chat? Uh, let me give you some news first. Uh, it is, let's see. First of all, I guess COVID cases are like 300% up since Labor Day, like compared to Labor Day last year. Um, Kanye got his 10th number one album on the Billboard charts with Donda. Although I would think uh, the word on the street is that Drake's album is a little more popular amongst the kids these days, but just that's just word around my teen's ears. Uh, legendary weatherman Willer Scott passed away and it's Google Commemoration Day, which I don't even know what that is. There were so many holidays today. It's like National Salami Day. Um, there's something else. And I just realized, like, I don't think it said it's Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. So happy Rosh Hashanah. And that's not what you're supposed to say. And I should know better. And it's escaping my mind right now. But happy Rosh Hashanah, everyone. So uh, if you missed any of that, you can find it below. You can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, SammyCohn.com and on YouTube. I just realized, I think the last time I did the dash, I couldn't even use my hands. I was still so weak. It's been two weeks, literally to the day since I was in the ER. I'm finally starting to feel more like myself. Still have some things going on with the ear. Um, although, and, I, and I've actually been to the dentist twice in the past two weeks with tooth issues. Turns out um, the root canal I went in for last week was not so much because I needed a root canal. I have a cracked tooth back here. So now I have to go back on Thursday. Um, ironically, the steroids, yes, I know that sounds awful. The medicine they gave me to help reduce inflammation so that they could do the surgery this week has helped with my ear. So I wonder if all of this is connected. It's amazing how our bodies are connected, right? It's not just external, there's, yeah. So anyway, that's going on with me right now. Um, but I am physically feeling a lot more like myself, so that's good. I always appreciate a holiday weekend just to kind of get a break in the routine, help us reassess take stock. Obviously, Rosh Hashanah, the new year reminds us of that as well. Um, but yeah, but it's, it's good to be back moving forward now. Um, I feel like there were some other things I wanted to update you on and I can't think of what those are right now. So, um, just know that I did film the rest of my show for this month today. So excited for you to watch. Not only am I talking about football, thank God, Football is back and our Titans have their season opener this weekend. Uh, I need to show you my Project 615. You see my first and 10 shirt. And yes, I love Kendra Scott. Also has some game day jewelry. I'll just post later. Um, I'm doing a really cool giveaway in line with the show. So you'll have to pay attention Friday with some of the Kendra Scott game day jewelry and Project 615 stuff. So stay tuned for that. That'll be out on Friday. And yeah, I love the quote from Oswald, but it was not today's quote, but I just, I didn't get to share it this weekend. It says, prayer changes me and then I change things. Something like that. But it's like, you don't just pray and then, you know, just, okay, do it, Lord. Like we have to take responsibility. Speaking of, I want to pray self-control over all of us today. So last night, I had a little bit of a hard time falling asleep. I'm gonna blame most of it on the US Open night matches. Those of you tennis fans know we're in week two of the US Open, the final Grand Slam of the year. And one of the like hallmarks of the US Open are these night matches that sometimes go, last night I think it was almost two in the morning. It was crazy. Couldn't go to bed, it was such a good match between um, Sakari from Greece beat Bianca Andrescu from Canada. Um, but so I started actually thinking about like, what do I want to change in my life? What do I want to stop saying? Like, I wish I would have, or why can't I start doing this? So I started putting some books on hold for my local library, everything from health to cookbooks to habits, how to change habits, break addictions. So as I pray self-control over each of us today and over each of you, I hope that you not just pray it, but that you take the steps necessary to achieve it. Whatever that is, whatever you desire, prayer changes things, but it changes us. And then we need to take the steps to change those things. So that's my prayer for all of you today is self-control and necessary action to accomplish that. 
in God's will. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.